Bread. Obviously, we all know bread. We've been baking, using and eating it for a long time. But have you ever wondered about the actual origins of bread? What are its ingredients? How did it emerge and how did it evolve? Welcome back to the Culinary Timeline channel, where we set out together on a journey through culinary traditions, discovering timeless recipes and unraveling the science and history behind the flavors. Nowadays, bread is one of the most commonly used foods around the globe. Everyone is consuming it in various forms, from simple white bread to brown bread, bread jam, bread omelets, bread rolls, and many others. But the question arises, where did it actually come from? How did it become one of the most commonly used foods going? What are the differences between the various types of bread? How does it compare to other food items? So today, we are going to embark on a fascinating journey through time to explore the evolution of one of the world's oldest and most beloved foods, bread. We will uncover the rich history, cultural significance and incredible transformations that have shaped this staple over the centuries. So grab a seat, relax, and let's travel through time together to reveal all the secrets. This is the evolution of bread, a journey through time. Our journey begins in the cradle of civilization where bread made its humble debut. Interestingly, archaeological evidence suggests that as far back as 10,000 BCE, our ancestors in the Fertile Crescent were experimenting with wild cereals, eventually leading to the discovery of the magic ingredient, flour, which is of course the main ingredient and root cause of the bread invention. Can you even imagine a world without sliced bread? Well, our ancestors couldn't either. The first evidence of bread making dates back to ancient Egypt, where skilled bakers used a simple mixture of flour and water, later incorporating leavening agents like wild yeast. But wait, talking about the basics specifically, bread is actually made up of four main ingredients, guys. First comes the flour, either whole wheat or refined. Secondly, water to create the dough. Third comes the salt to keep the ingredients intact. And the fourth and last one is yeast to create expansion and soften it. Now let's get back to the origin where we were talking about some Egyptian bakers who in the process of making traditional flatbread put the dough aside for some hours. Quite accidentally, the wild yeast in the air got mixed up into it. When the baker put it into the traditional oven, surprisingly, it started expanding. Everyone was shocked and amazed, and when they ate it, they found it to be much softer, and they much preferred it like that. And so the recipe was carried on using the same process. From there, humans kept on steadily crafting the bread making process with time, and gradually different ways of integrating the yeast into the flour were discovered. The bread taste and making process transformed, but the basic method maintained by the mixing of the ingredients that we've discussed. When it comes to the exact history or error, however, there are some speculations about the exact time frame or years related to the history of the bread. But it's widely said that about 2000 years ago, nearly 300 BC in ancient Rome, baking was an incredible art to be respected as a profession. Bread was made via imported wheat from the African continent and regions like Egypt, Tunisia and Algeria. Later on, it was said that Christopher Columbus was the one to spread the bread concept into the American region. Additionally, Portuguese traders were responsible for bringing the yeast bread to the Asian and Indian lands. You'll be amazed and maybe even shocked to discover, but bread was even being given importance in the arts as well as in the religions and spirituality as well. Now, let's fast forward to explore how bread became not just a food item, but a symbol deeply woven into the fabric of various cultures. As civilizations grew and expanded, so too did the diversity of bread. It was soon commercialized and industry revolution also took place, bringing yeast and baking soda into the markets for upgrading the process of making bread. Traveling across the continents, we encounter a myriad of bread types that have fascinated cultures worldwide. Here is an interesting fact for you, but in Greece, bread was considered a gift from the gods and breaking bread together became a sacred ritual. Yes, you heard that right. Meanwhile, in the Asian and Indian regions, the aromatic naan bread became a culinary icon reflecting the diverse flavors of the subcontinent. While in France, the baguette represents a culinary icon of its own. From the pita bread of the Middle East to the tortillas of Mexico, each culture has its unique way of preparing and enjoying bread-based products. It's incredible to think how this simple food has become so deeply ingrained in our cultural identities. In fact, bread took on unique forms adapting to local ingredients and traditions. As time marched on, so did the art of making bread. The Middle Ages saw the rise of guilds and specialized bakers turning breads into a symbol of craftsmanship and skill. 
In medieval Europe, bakers were revered and each town had its own distinct bread. The Industrial Revolution brought mass production, changing the way we viewed and consumed bread. The once labor-intensive process became more efficient, making bread accessible to people of all social classes. But this loafy saga isn't a linear one. Each culture needed its own twist into the dough, and bread even emerged from tandoor ovens with its pillowy perfection soaking up fragrant curries. China birthed Bowser, delicate steamed buns bursting with savory or sweet fillings. And let's not forget the sourdough magic of the Mediterranean, a living legacy passed down through generations as bubbly and complex as a family reunion. So let us now shift our focus to the present day, where a revolution is underway in the world of bread with the epic rise of artisan baking. From sourdough buels to intricate ciabattas, artisanal bakers are reclaiming the root of bread making and emphasizing quality over quantity. It's a return to the basics, but with a modern twist. And let's not forget the gluten-free movement, catering to diverse dietary needs, with sugar-free forms of course introduced as well. Time marches forward, and so too does bread-making technology. Over the centuries, innovative techniques and tools have transformed the way we make bread. The invention of the first milling machine in the 19th century revolutionized flour production, leading to finer and more consistent flour. In the 20th century, the introduction of commercial yeast and mechanized dough mixers further streamlined the bread-making process. These achievements allowed for mass production, making bread accessible to people around the globe in various forms and providing an enriched and unique taste. Famous food blogger Simon Majumdar, in one of his blogs, Breaking Bread with Simon Majumdar, quoted a well-known baker who said that breaking bread saves lives. You don't need a piece of Wagyu steak decorated with gold leaf, an expertly crafted plate of homemade pasta, or a slice of three-tiered chocolate cake to have an incredible meal. Rather, all you need is a plate of food in front of you, and having a bread loaf or slice, and a table of hungry bellies around you. Another top chef blog site, thechefsconnection.com, shared a statement of an experienced baker and chef, Kamel Sassi, in which he said, I know exactly what I'm doing. I just feel the dough. I know when I have to bake it, when it's ready. They call me, Dad, shape me, bake me. You might be wondering after this evolutionary journey, what does the future hold for our beloved bread? Well, we can say that as we continue to explore cutting edge developments and innovations, it's clear that the evolution is far from over. From 3D printed loaves to sustainable and nutritious alternatives, the possibilities are endless. As our understanding of health and environmental impact grows, so does the potential for bread to continue evolving. No doubt in today's world, bread has taken on new forms and flavors. Artisan bakeries have gained popularity focusing on traditional methods and locally sourced ingredients. Moreover, as dietary preferences have evolved, we have surely seen an increase in gluten-free, whole grain and sourdough breads. Bread has even reached the realm of culinary experimentation with bakers pushing the boundaries of creativity by infusing flavors like herbs, fruits, and even chocolate into their loaves. But amidst all the innovation, guys, we must never forget the essence of bread. The simple act of gathering, mixing, baking, and sharing. From a sun-warmed grain to a golden crusted loaf, bread is truly an amazing story of human connection and a testament to our shared hunger for both sustenance and community. So fire up your ovens, knead your worries away, and bake your own delicious chapter in the ever-evolving story of bread. And I'll leave you with this. Famous Indian leader, the great Mahatma Gandhi once said, there are people in the world so hungry that God cannot appear to them except in the form of bread. And so we come to the close of this chapter of the Culinary Timeline channel. The evolution of bread, a journey through time. For sure, we have witnessed its humble beginnings, celebrated its cultural significance, and explored how it has adapted to the ever-changing world. As we savor the diverse flavors and textures of bread, let's appreciate the craftsmanship, history, and passion that goes into every slice. If you've enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more tasty adventures and until next time, happy baking.